This is Monster Jam. Welcome to the historic Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. Tonight's home for Stadium Championship Series Red. I'm Scott Jordan alongside Zombies Barry Musauer with Taylor Mock and Laura Callis on the ground. And tonight our drivers will battle it out in three competitions. Monster Energy Racing, the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and Freestyle. The winner of each event will be awarded a total of 14 points, and the top point earner will be named tonight's overall event champion. It's such a tough matchup. Becky, it's um, great to see her in the final round. Tyler Duke, though, he's cool, calm, and collected. It's anybody's game, man. They're now pulling to the starting line. It is our finals in Monster Energy Racing. Todd LaDuke in Monster Energy. Becky McDonough in El Toro Loco. Todd LaDuke now back in the right lane where he is so comfortable. They are now off the line, off the race ramp, and into the first turn. And did you see Todd LaDuke had that truck rotated basically on the apex of the turn. So really, he's charging all the way to the finish line. Well, oh, Becky's in trouble, though. El Toro Loco gets stuck on that turn, and Todd the Duke in Monster Energy bouncing back after last episode gets a big racing win. The time, 19.393, 14 points, heading the way of Todd the Duke in Monster Energy. And here are your racing point standings, Bari. And we start things off with the master of the walk, the plank backflip, Kovanar in the black pearl bar, wasting no time getting off that step up ramp. Yeah, anytime Kovanar hits the track, you know he's gonna announce his presence. He did that right off the bat, and he's got it rolling. He's got a big job though, to set the tone for freestyle and really give his competitors a run for their money. There were some fans on social media, Bari, that have said Kovenard has ultimately kind of moved himself into a one-move wonder with that walk the plank. He attempts it. If he hits it, he wins. If he doesn't, he loses. I don't see it that way at all. He doesn't rely on the backflip to win the freestyle. He uses the clock. He hits the jumps. He gets the big air. And then he gets you that wow factor. Yeah, the wow factor is something that is really special when it comes to freestyle because you have to be able to grasp the fans to get those big scores, to get those big numbers. Members, they vote, so you kind of got a, a personal connection with them to see how they liked your freestyle. Some great air, the sky wheelie for the Black Pearl, now spinning it back around, coming back to the other side of the track. Talk about the track elements, Bari, as we've now seen two competitions with the sky wheelie on the other side of the step up ramp with this track and the dirt starting to get torn apart. And speaking of tearing apart, you know, attrition starts to take its toll. This is show two of two here in San Antonio. So you got to think that all these shows, all these jumps take its toll on the actual drivers and the trucks themselves. Another big jump for Colvin Arden. The Black Pearl up over the jammer, gets some air, brings it back down. Turning the truck back around, coming this way again. A lot of obstacles for Colvinard to hit. Going up now over the crush cars and some big air for the Black Pearl. Try to get a slap wheelie. Not much there for him. And here he goes, Bari, lining it up for walk the plank. It is Colvinard time. He hits the throttle and up he goes and can't walk the plank but lands the backflip nonetheless. Yeah, it's a really a split second decision you have to make to grab that reverse gear. Trying for the wow factor, look Whoa. at the sky wheelie, the big air, the momentum drops it back down. Now when you're Lindsey Wink and Lucas Oil Crusader, as a driver, put us inside the driver's seat, put us into his mind. What does he have to do now watching Jim Kohler go out, do an incredible run, rise to the top of the leaderboard? How do you stay calm and collected and rise to the top of that BKT leaderboard if you're Lindsey Wink? Well, Scott, if there's anybody in Monster Jam that can take you to school at how to freestyle a Monster Jam truck, it is this guy. Lindsey Wink is a consummate veteran. He's been at this a long time. He knows he's keeping his composure right off the bat to get through that 30 seconds, but there's no doubt that Lindsey Wink is going to turn up the wick here on the Crusader. Whipping it back around, here comes Lucas Oil Crusader up over the ramp. He goes, great jump, lands it on the left side, a little rough, gets it back now on all four BKT tires. He's coming back for more to the other side as these competitors just watch and wait their turn. Jim Kohler and Avenger, your current leader with Lindsey Wink now up the other side of that incredible step up ramp. Didn't get a whole lot of air though. Yeah, it looks like he just did that effortlessly. I mean, the truck landed great. He's really just building towards the end uh, he's he's that driver that likes the crescendo right at the end as you see he's got a great save there That'll get the adrenaline pumping. He's got the fans buzzing So I think Lindsey Wink is gonna turn it up from here on 
He ran out of room as we see the other Monster Jam trucks lined up, so he, he couldn't add on to that momentum. You mentioned Whoa. that. There's a crate move as he gets the big sky wheelie sideways across and saves it back down on the track. What a move. Yes, sir. I can't help to think I thought the rear steer might have suffered some damage. He goes into a veteran move. If you're thinking the rear steer might have an issue, a great donut, which ends in a cyclone. Oh, he's over. I still try to save it. Look at the effort, <laughs> that last second effort from Lindsey Wink and Lucas Oil Crusader. And now we move on to John Zimmer and Dragon getting the fans up on their feet. I love that. It's very intimidating with the fire-breathing Dragon coming out on the track. Yeah, I get asked a lot if I wasn't driving the Zombie Monster Jam truck, which truck would I want to pilot? The answer is easy. This one right here. Dragon is probably one of my favorite trucks. You know, you get to hit a button inside the cab and it breathes fire. I don't know what more you could want out of a Monster Jam truck than that. Six stadium freestyle wins in the career for John Zimmer and Dragon trying tonight for number seven. The, the famed Gravedigger driver was behind the wheel of Gravedigger from 2012 to 2017 before switching over into Dragon. We've talked a lot about the, the lineage and the heritage that comes with driving Gravedigger. John Zimmer doesn't have that, that paint scheme anymore. It doesn't have the popularity, but it's still the same guy behind the wheel. Yeah, and he's been in a little bit of a slump in 2020, so I'm really looking for a breakout performance from John tonight in San Antonio. Great air off of that jump. And look at the oh. save attempt for John Zimmer getting the front tire, and he yeah. nails it, Barry. That was a last-ditch effort. He pulled off the one-wheel save. I guarantee you the fans are buzzing from that, and he needs to go from right to that and just continue the momentum on, and he's got himself. He's got something to work with here. All right, we know it takes a lot of skill to drive a Monster Jam truck, but educate the fans on how reactionary it really is be behind the wheel. Sure, you can't even think about you know saving a truck in that instant. It's got to be something that is second nature. You have to be able to just you know coach your mind into doing exactly what you need your body to do, whether it's grab the shifter, whether it's steer the truck a certain way, put it in reverse. It all has to come together seamlessly to be able to you know complete a freestyle at the top of your game. There's the veteran move, the donut in the center of the track, then gets a big jump off the step-up ramp. Now the Dragon going for the Monster oh. Energy backflip ramp. He gets up a little slow, lands it on the front left, hits the container with the back wheel, but he is still going. A successful backflip attempt, and here comes the step-up ramp. John Zimmer and Dragon awesome. with a huge sky wheelie, lands it down perfectly onto the track. Yeah, he was up so high, he tacked the brakes just to set the truck's nose back down, and I think he was further back down than he thought he was. So, excellent run by John. As you see, he takes the lead, 9.571. For Bryce Kenny now as he gets Great Clips Mohawk Warrior on the track for this two-minute freestyle run. And I've gone on record as saying in most other sports, Barry, two minutes isn't going to do anything for you. But in Monster Jam, two minutes can win you a championship. Yes, and it feels like an eternity out there, two minutes. You know, you want to get in so much of your run done. And in fact, sometimes you feel like, man, that two minutes went by really fast. You didn't get to do all you wanted. But one thing's for sure, somebody who's up to that challenge, Bryce Kinney and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. It's been a great run for Bryce Kenny in San Antonio, winning his first stadium racing win in our last episode and just missing that overall event championship by one point. I know that's crushing as he continues to look for this championship in 2020. So Bryce Kenny, great clips, Mohawk Warrior now just getting everything up and over each and every obstacle on this Alamo Dome track. And it has been beat up. We've been talking about this all night long. But now when you're at the back end of freestyle, you have even more elements to worry about as he hits the side of the step-up ramp. And it looked like the, that was a little rough landing there on that sand. If you notice, here in San Antonio, they have sand right there to try and cushion that landing and also for a good donut area. 2019, Bryce Kenny won Stadium Save of the Year for his save in Houston, Texas, as he gets a great sidewall save there in Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. But he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to beat John Zimmer in Dragon. He talks about the wow moment. That is one thing he has always prided himself on is the wow moment, that wow factor. He has yet to do anything close to that right now, but still some time on the clock as he starts slowing down. What is going on with the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior? Let's see. Oh! 
The Apex straight up in the air. Does he have enough? Bounces it and lands it. That's why he's slowing down. There is your wow factor for Bryce Kenny. That was pretty crafty, Scott. He snuck that in. He's put himself in a great position for the overall event championship, but he has to hold off this man. The five-time World Finals champion, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger, still has a chance to win the event championship, but he needs to do something very special tonight in his freestyle run. And already I can tell from Adam's throttle rhythm that he is attacking this track. He keeps up more momentum than anybody out here. Look at the roost. You know, he's drifting that 12,000 pound Monster Jam truck around like it's nobody's business. And he's rocking the house already. He's like throwing caution to the wind. What 30 seconds? When I see Adam Anderson make some of these jumps and whip this Monster Jam truck around, it reminds me of what you see in Supercross. He just, it's so effortless. And wow. there's another one, a sky wheelie down across the backside of the step up ramp. But it's just so effortless with him. He makes that truck look like it weighs about 15 pounds. <laughs> yeah, and this huge transfer jump. And he hit that with a lot more throttle left to give. So Grave Digger looks like it's working great. Adam is on a tear. He's got something to prove here in San Antonio. And like you say, redemption is on his mind, and he's rocking it, man. Finished third in freestyle in the last episode here at the Alamo oh. Dome. Lands it sideways, and look at that tire. Oh, great combo, but he has canned that rim and beadlock combination. I hope the BKT tire doesn't lose air, and he can continue on for all these great fans here. If anybody can do it, it is Adam Anderson in Grave Digger. He can do more on three tires than most people can do on four. But as you said, it's all up to that BKT tire. Can it hang on? He knows he's got limited time. So now he's going to line up here for the Monster Energy backflip with three good wheels oh. and still on that front tire bar. He bounces it and saves it. What a move. Awesome. And sometimes, uh, you know, a backflip like that that doesn't necessarily work out the way you want it, sometimes the fans love that even more. Oh, huge air right there. And the sky. Wheelie, the big air getting that grill right off the front of Grave Digger. Now he's just beating it into the ground. And here we go with the donut. Can he get it up on two wheels for the Cyclone? Oh, yeah, he's got it. And he kicked up that dust. Great way to end that freestyle run. Look at the fans. And look at the score, Bari, 9.524. As we look at the original super glue, glue to the action replay, there is the save off the backflip ramp. He finishes in second in freestyle by five one hundredths of a point. However, he did finish in second, so that might be enough to get him the overall event championship right now. It's all about John Zimmer and Dragon with the big freestyle win. Yeah, it's good to see John Zimmer get that monkey off his back. He's been in a slump during this 2020 season. It's great to see him in the winter circle in freestyle. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.